Hey guys, so there's a lot of talk in the news unfolding in regards to women reproductive rights. And a lot of this is taking place because of the change of power with the Republican Party strengthening and with Trump coming into office. And it reminds me of a case, two cases actually that I had that was simultaneously unfolding in my emergency department at the same time on the same day. I mean, you just can't make it up. In room one, I had this couple, husband and wife, she was six weeks pregnant and she was cramping and she was bleeding. She came in with her husband uh, because she was experiencing these symptoms. I rushed him off to ultrasound and the ultrasound showed that she was indeed miscarrying. And I remember relaying the news to them and how sad they were and they were crying, they were embracing and I witnessed such a tender moment there. And it was more that I wish I could do, but given six weeks of pregnancy at that stage, there's not much you can do. A miscarriage, unfortunately, if it unfolds at that period, there's nothing medically that can do to savage or save that pregnancy. And right next to this couple in room two, literally one room separated by another room by only a wall. And in room two was a lady who was in the emergency department, patient of mine, a week prior, who had similar symptoms, had an ultrasound which showed the same thing, and she showed back up because she had it miscarried. And she was upset, she was mad, she was enraged because she did not miscarry. And she wanted me to perform an on-the-spot abortion. And I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, we don't do that in the emergency department. You have to follow up with your obstetrician, that this is the only way that it can happen. And so she was very upset and she threatened to even sue. It's crazy given this specific moment. I remember sharing all that was unfolding with my nurse, Linda, and Linda shook her head. Linda, who's been a nurse for 25 years, was just like, wow, such a crazy dichotomy. It just, you just can't make it up. What are your thoughts? Do you think a woman have the right to choose? If you're a woman or a man in this situation, the father, do you think a woman has the right to choose? Are we invading a woman's choice? Are we using our political or our religious viewpoints to criticize or judge or make rulings on a woman's reproductive system? And I wish it was more that I could have done as a physician for these two patients of mine, but I'm there not to pass judgment, not to impose my feelings, but to nurture, nurture what a patient is going through and to help them arrive at the best place that's right for them. Given a situation when it comes to a woman's choice, pro-life or pro-choice in this circumstance, you don't know what unfolded. Like, I didn't know what unfolded with the woman who wanted to have an abortion. I didn't know the circumstances with her pregnancy. I didn't know if there was any issues with the fetus prior or with her previous children or her previous pregnancy or her current relationship. I don't know the circumstances because she was by herself. I don't know if this was a decision that she wanted to have a baby that she made with her significant other. I don't know exactly what unfolded there, but at the same time, I only wish from a medical viewpoint that I could have done something to help both couple arrive at their choice, at their place of happiness is all that I wanted to do. So what are your thoughts? I would love to hear. Do you think women should have the right to choose or should it all be a situation where if you're pregnant, you have to carry the term? I would love to hear your thoughts. I know where I stand, and I feel like we're in a society today that we're moving forward. We're progressive, and there's no need to go back. Hit me up. Let me know what you think.